Welcome back to Base Sunday. You know him as the zany and the brilliant host of The Daily Show. And now John Stewart is dabbling in the movies. His first as a director and a producer. It's called Rosewater. It's a true story of how one of his guests was persecuted back in Iran for being on The Daily Show. I chatted with John just a couple of weeks ago. That's all good. We got a little rain here. We're going to jump right in because I know the window is uh, going to close here pretty quick. Rain. Yeah. In San finally. Francisco. Finally. Interesting. Believe it or not. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's talk about good, Rose. Good. Let's talk about Rosewater. It's your baby. You wrote it. You produced it. You directed it. Uh, give our viewers a, a little feel for uh, what it's all about. Well, it's about a, a journalist named Mazir Bahari who was arrested after the 2009. Uh, green Revolution in Iran in sort of a, a large sweep. But our connection to it is we had sent a reporter, Jason Jones, a correspondent, to interview Maziar in prior to the elections. And the bit that we did with Maziar was actually used as evidence in the prison against him that he was a spy. So you can imagine just how utterly absurd that must have been. And was that your motivation to write the film in the first place? Certainly a connection to it, certainly a start. Not really the motivation to do it. I think, you know, anytime you get someone arrested, you tend to feel closer to them. Uh, but it was more that when Maziar got out and he and I became good friends, he wrote this incredible memoir about his experience, not just about the prison, but about his family. His father had had the same experience under the Shah of Iran. His sister had had the same experience under Khomeini. He comes from this family of active political, uh, uh, artists and, you know, the idea that this is generational and sort of universal w was really the compelling aspect of it. And how about you jumping on the other side of the camera as a director, a producer, and a, of course you write a lot of what you do, but how was that experience? Oh man, to be able to grow a beard, that was <laughs> the real joy, to not have to be on camera. The only problem is I hadn't seen my beard in 16 years. And when I last saw him, red and brown and black, and then I, I saw him in Jordan, and I'm Gandalf. <laughs> Just all of a sudden, I'm, I got this big white. I don't know what the hell happened to me. I feel your pain. I'm not too far behind. Well, what was it like filming in Jordan? I appreciate it. First of all, it's a, a, a beautiful country, uh, not even to mention the hummus, the hospitality. But it was, no question, you know, it's 100 degrees out. It was the summer. It was Ramadan. So uh, a large part of the crew was, was fasting. We were shooting in a, a working Jordanian prison. So there were a lot of, uh, uh, let's call them challenges, uh, to, to getting all the, all the material that, that we wanted. That being said, in, in some ways, I think it kind of helped focus us and, 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 and helped focus and, and be agile about the story we were telling. Does it blow your mind, John, where you come from uh, back in 92 on the Larry Sanders show and uh, how far The Daily Show has come? I, I, a lot of people use that as their, their number one news product now. It must, uh, must be really something. <laughs> no, that's, it's a little bizarre. I have to say it's a little bizarre. But, you know, man, uh, I've been there 16 years. I think it's the longest I've held a job by like 15 years and seven months. So I'm just happy. I'm just happy to have... Uh, a steadier gig. And I was uh, boning up. I guess you were originally a chemistry major in college. What, what happened with that? Right. Well, I was a chemistry major for a couple of years, but the professors always wanted the right answer. Uh, so I switched to psychology because there they just kind of wanted an answer. And uh, I felt like, well, I could do that. Ten pages? Sure. <laughs> and have you always had a love for politics and kind of the underbelly of it? I think I've always been fascinated by it. Uh, love is probably more like love-hate, fascination, grotesque fascination with, but uh, uh, certainly an interest in. All right. Well, Rosewater comes out next month. And, uh, hey, John, we wish you all the best. Good luck with the film. Thank you so much. Rosewater hit theaters last month, and we will be back with more Bay Sunday right after the break. Stay